a group of established black women put together a PSA that I agree with their spirit, but the way they're going about getting their message out in regards to the vice presidential nominee Biden should pick, I don't agree with that because the greater of the evil is Donald Trump. Take a look at what they had to say and we'll break it down afterwards. Women are miracle workers. We have been saving the Democratic Party since 1965. 2020 is no different. Your only path to victory is through Black women. The voters who need to turn out, we know how to mobilize them. Our votes must not be taken for granted. The following commitments will begin to show Black voters that you are serious about us. America needs a, a black, black woman, woman vice, vice president. president. Candidates like Amy Klobuchar will not energize us. America needs a, a black, black woman, woman Supreme, Supreme Court, Court justice. justice. Remember Anita Hill? We do. America needs more in a comprehensive black agenda. The rules are rigged against our communities. Whether we are talking about a black person who died of COVID-19 because of the lack of access to health care, or Ahmaud Arbery being killed by vigilantes, or Breonna Taylor, an EMT killed by police while laying in her bed. We deserve solutions that address systemic racism, economic injustice, and domestic terrorism. Joe Biden, you enacted drug and crime laws that harmed the Black community for generations. Every major crime bill since 1976, every minor crime bill, has had the name of the Democratic senator from the state of Delaware, Joe Biden, on that bill. You say you know better now. Show us you're serious by doing better. This country has a problem. Police officers and vigilantes are killing us and our quality of life must improve. Joe Biden, this must be addressed. You must address our oppression and most importantly, embrace our power to win the White House. Vice President Biden, your campaign's mission is to restore the soul of America. There is no restoration without us. Okay. I'm going to put it to you like this. I feel what they're trying to say. They, they want Biden to pick a black vice presidential woman. Okay. <laughs> There's only one he can pick. And if that one says no, then I'm sorry, ladies. He can't pick no black lady right now. And if y'all have the audacity to tell me that you would rather either not vote or vote for Trump because he doesn't put a black woman on that ticket, y'all are being exactly the problem that you are talking about in your PSA. The only black woman he can put on that ticket that can cross the boundaries is Michelle Obama. That's the only one in this race. Nobody else is going to do it. No Stacey Abrams. No, um, what's the chick in California that's a senator? Um, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, no. And I agree, I don't like Amy Klobuchar. Um, I think that if he's going to get a woman, which he said he's going to do, it has to be the lady in Michigan, Gretchen, or maybe, may, maybe Elizabeth Warren. Other than that, to say he's going to have to get a black woman that's not named Michelle Obama, and y'all are not going to support it. I hope that's not what y'all are saying. Y'all didn't say that, but it sounds like that's where y'all are going. And all the things you said about Black women and our community, all that is true. But in terms of massive voter turnout, how we lost, the last election was lost by two states because the Blacks didn't turn out, but by a majority of states because overwhelmingly educated white women that normally voted for Barack Obama in the last election came out and voted for Trump. So make sure that you're careful not to have people run from Joe Biden and just say, I'm not voting because it doesn't matter when we know Trump is the greatest evil this country has ever seen in the White House. t strings to give it to you first. Well, <clears throat> against all the grain, man, that's, that's feminism at its best, man. That's, mm. that, that's that feminist muscle. Uh, you know, I, I totally agree. <laughs> I totally agree with, you know, with, uh, 
And, and um, look here. The the whole trying to flex that kind of muscle, trying to flex that kind of muscle isn't the wisest thing to do. Not not right now. Okay, is okay. There there's options out there. I'm sure that he, I'm sure that he's looking at options. But to you know, it's almost like a it's almost like a a, a matter of fact statement that 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 announcement was saying. You know, you do this or or we abandon you. And so then you have, you have to look at, you have to look at. So according to that, according to that statement, and, I, and I'm sure not all women uh, feel this way, uh, but I'm damn certain that quite a few do. All right. So you're saying that according to this, according to this, this service announcement, you just put, that you just played that you would rather, you'd rather not turn out. You would rather send your vote someplace else uh, if he does not, you know, if he does not put, you know, a a black woman on on the ticket uh, and risk and risk because that's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to risk that and that entire election on that ultimatum. Uh you know, I think is, I think is foolery. All right. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the women's movement and I, you know, I agree with their progressions and all this other kind of stuff, but trying to throw in an ultimatum like that at this juncture in the game is, is irresponsible on, 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 on the organizers of that service announcement part. Now let, let me, let me make sure you know this too. It's not just them singing this same kind of a song. Charlemagne the God and P. Diddy are kind of saying the same issue. They're just not saying it for women, but they're putting the pressure on Joe Biden saying, what are you going to do for blacks, Mr. Biden? If you want us to come out for you, what are you going to do for blacks? And I'm saying that they should be saying, okay, blacks, do y'all understand how important the Supreme Court is? Do y'all understand how important the superior court judge, superior court judges are? Do y'all understand how important district court judges are in enforcing liberal policies so that the stuff we've been seeing that's been happening to African Americans can be adjudicated in the court, which will filter down to the cops behaving better? If you want that, which is something that touches each community. You, we cannot let Trump win again, regardless of how you feel about whatever Biden is doing or what he has done. He will put better people in the judges' positions than uh, anything Trump can do. Period. Yeah, I, I I think you know, you know, with with Diddy and Charlemagne, those some old thumb in the booty ass Tom girls anyway. So it, you know, it yeah, is, he's, wow. yeah, yeah, he's got a point. He's, he's, he's got a point. He's got a point. He's got a point. Uh, it, you know, you know, I, I think I, I think they're trying to boil it down to let's get. You know, it's it's that race to be to have the first black woman this or first black woman that. Okay, the thing is there there's plenty of educated black women that's making advancements and not just like with Barack. That time will definitely come. You know, you can't you know you 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 can't force it on ultimatums. Now, if if they get behind that agenda and push it, if they get behind that agenda and push it. And the the entire election, the the entire world is 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 hung along that balance. And you know, we they didn't already jacked it up. They you know they didn't already jacked it up by allowing Biden in the first place. If you know if if they you know if they was trying to look at credibility, they would have looked at Bernie Sanders last election when mm -hmm. it showed that he had enough enough power to rule out uh, to to beat Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton, but they was pushing that, let's get this, let's push this woman. It, it, it wasn't black then, it was just, let's get the woman to crack the glass ceiling stuff. So, you know, with that limited thinking, you know, with that limited thinking, it, it caused us, it already caused us four years of trouble. So now we've, we've been spending this four years complaining while he's been doing nothing 
but blaming Barack Obama for the entire for his entire presidency. So now we're going to gamble giving him four more because the situation doesn't fit. Well, if this if we knew that this juncture was going to happen, this is the second time, not the first, but the second time around that we allowed it to happen because what what because Bernie was a little bit older, he he looked a little bit more sluggish or anything like that. Uh, so I think I think it's a risk. I think it's a, I think it's a gamble, and it's the the consequence of losing that gamble. High outweighs, you know, high outweighs the game that they're trying to play. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, so I, I hope that I hope that that don't get that kind of traction, because at this juncture in the game, Biden right now is the only choice. Mm -hmm. you know, he's the only viable choice. And you guys put them, they put him there because you overlook the other candidates. There's no need to talk about what crime bills he pushed back when Clinton and them was in office uh, several years ago. We knew that back when, when he ran with Barack Obama. All right. So this is not new information. We, we knew this long ago. So there's no need to even bring that up as, as leverage because that's something that's, all, that's something that's already been there. I just hope that that movement don't catch traction and it, it throws the whole, it throws the whole fight up, you know, throws the whole fight up. The, what what should be what should be said is, you know, get somebody that is qualified, you know, that is qualified to run. You know, I mean, what more what possibly more could could you do or could he do for, you know, for blacks that that somebody else that could come in as a vice president, you know, could possibly do. You know, we that same song has been running in elections for years and and each each time is you know just a little bit given you know so it's not like like the 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 black movement or the black community has been has been traveling in leaps and bounds with elections that 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 went to our favor because it hasn't and so uh and that's just that's just the game of politics so we'll 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 see you know but if but if they mess around and let this guy win because right. if they mess around and let this guy win because because of that and, and start not showing up, mm -hmm. you know, they can't they, their card, their their black card to complain about anything has been removed as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, you can't complain about shit that you allow. Larry. All right. I, I have a. I have a couple of issues with this, and I'll try and be brief. I know sometimes I go off on my diatribes, especially when it comes to politics. So I'll try and be brief if I can. But there are a couple of points that I take issue with with their with their statement. First, which one that just hit me, just sort of needled at me, was this idea of calling these people that are out there killing black folks in the streets vigilantes. They're not vigilante. They're not vigilantes. They're just straight up murderers. They are white terrorists, and that they need to be called that vigilante implies that there is a crime being committed and a citizen is going about the the law enforcement activity without the authority of of the of the law and so it implies that this is a person who's just taking the law into their own hand well there's no law being broken with these black men out there being murdered there's no law against jogging down the street to get exercise so this idea that these men are vigilantes is something that they you need not even put that out there. These are these are terrorists. These are murderers. It sh they should be called nothing less. Now, as far as as far as their message about uh, uh, as far as their message about putting picking a black female candidate, I don't like that message to begin with because it just uh, like if they said this is the candidate we want and these are the reasons why you should pick her i would be all for that message them supporting their candidate but just the the message of it needs to be a black woman i don't like that for anybody i don't like that for black women for white women for black men for any other group i do not like that you need to put forth the candidate that you think would be good and then make your argument for that candidate and otherwise, you just end up with the politics of race. You have to pick this person because they're next in line. You have to pick this this person because they're a woman. This person because they're because they're uh, uh, because they're black or they're Hispanic or they're Asian. I don't like that. 
find your find your candidate that you think would be great that fits your idea and then put them forth. So if you like Kamala Harris or if you like uh, what's her name down in Georgia, you like whoever else, put them forward. You know, I don't like them calling out people like Amy Klobuchar. You know, uh, let's be real. The job of a vice president during the campaign is to be an attack dog. Amy Klobuchar, I cannot imagine anybody else in this group of, of presidential candidates that we had, that would be a more vicious attack dog against Donald Trump. She would be brutal, you know. And as far as as far as the this idea that that black women are this are this this huge group, this huge voting block that the Democratic Party would be crippled without, well, let's just be real. The the black women within the Democratic Party are very very important. They are a large voting block. But they're lar they are larger than the men. And people need to understand their importance as a voting block is most important during the primaries. Once you get to the general elections, their numbers are not as significant. So, yes, you still need to pay attention to them. You still need to cater to them. But their significance is not as great as it is during the primaries. And they need to understand that. So you can't just basically say, we're a big deal. We're a big deal. You need to put one of us in place. No, we are in a position in this country where it is literally life and death. And we need to pick the best candidate to get in there. The best likelihood of getting our candidate with our ideals in there. And and, the, and that little clip they showed with Joe Biden trying to make it seem like he was just this horrible person that's been going after black people with the crime bills. Well, here it is. Joe Biden went ahead and supported the crime bills that black people in Congress and at the local levels wanted to get passed. It was members of the Congressional Black Caucus that authored that bill, and he put his name on it to say, I will, I will co-sign this bill and then vote for it. Joe Biden, I mean, it comes down to this point. Do you, uh, it, it happens with all, do you give black people what you think they need or do you give black people what you think they want? Because black people at the time wanted this crime bill because there was a crack epidemic in there. There were gangs that were running rogue. People were getting shot and killed and murdered all over the place and drugs were running rampant. They wanted a crime bill because they thought giving people all kinds of, they thought giving expanded police powers and harsher sentences was going to stop all of that. And Joe Biden, they came to Joe Biden and said, you're a Democrat, you're one of us, will you support this? And so as Joe Biden, do you give black people what you think they need or do you give black people what you think they want? Maybe he thought that's what they what they wanted. It was also what they needed. But he said, OK, I'll support you. Well, guess what? You can't now go back years later and say, oh, he must be a racist because he voted for these policies that turned out to be really bad for black people. Yeah, but it was black people that voted for it. There's black people that authored this crap. And it was black people from your party that that authored it and wanted it. He supported it. OK, but it doesn't make him an evil person because you asked him, will you support our agenda? And he said, yes. I mean, I just I think that, I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand them putting forth their political power, trying to flex their, their their social media muscle. But I just honestly believe that if they want to, if they want a black female candidate, what they should have done is got together as a group and said, "This is the candidate we like." Now let's go ahead and try and get her to be the selected vice, P, you know, uh, VP uh, candidate. Not just say it needs to be a black woman. Nah, screw that. And, and and don't and don't sit up there and try and make the, our our democratic candidate look bad as if he as if he was all all of a sudden like he was against black people. I mean, you can't you can't sit up there and, and and smack them upside the head on one instance and then say, oh yeah, now you need to go ahead and give me what I want. No, that's crazy. <laughs> well, even with oh, sorry. Oh, one last thing, one last yeah. thing. Also. Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar. I don't want to see any of them as VP. And here's why. They're all sitting senators. I do not want to take anybody out of a sitting uh, out of out of a Senate seat and put them in to a, a position that basically is a as a nothing burger VP. No, I don't want to take them out of the Senate. Go find a governor, you know, and find somebody who's won. Do I like what's her name down Stacey Abrams down in Georgia? If she would have won, I would have said, great, she would have won. But if she was governor down in Georgia, I would have said, you need to leave her in place and let her go and maybe run the next cycle. But 
right now, I think Whitmer's a good choice. Why? Because we need we need Michigan as a as it's a battleground state, and we need Michigan. You know, and and she's she's a good looking woman. She's proved that she that she that she is firm. That she will stand up to the bullshittery that's out there, and I think she will do that. Now, as far as all the other women that are out there. I don't know who they want. I think the woman, I think they were looking at somebody in New Mexico that might be good. But all these other women, they might be great. I'm not willing to take them out of the Senate so that they can be VP. I'm just not. I mean, we're fighting to get the damn Senate. Why do you want to start giving up seats? It doesn't make any sense. Even one. Well, here's the problem, Larry. Everybody don't know politics the way me and you know it because we follow it every day. And people should follow politics because it deals with your pocket. It deals with your environment. It's not just the social issues when you should tune into politics. I know me, Streams, and Larry, we all do businesses. So policies affect us the minute a certain policy is made or money is given out, however you want to call it. A vice presidential candidate is supposed to be strong where the presidential candidate is weak. Unfortunately, because so many Blacks like Biden, he doesn't have to go get anyone to get black voters. He's got to get someone from that Midwest area that Hillary Clinton lost. And my best guess or best choice is the governor of Michigan, Whitmer. She's loved by black people. She's shown that she's got backbone. She's shown that she doesn't care about racists pulling up to the Capitol and showing up. Matter of fact, she has shut the Capitol down. Because right. of those and extended the lockdown after that. So right. cool, and, we're extending it. Right, and extended the lockdown. So at the end of the day, as much as I, I feel the ladies on that PSA, getting a black woman is not going to serve the overall good of where the party needs to go, which is win the White House, because Joe Biden already has the support of the majority of blacks. He's got to get someone in there that can carry the rest of the voting bloc which is predominantly Anglo-Saxon from the Midwest. That's what he's got to do. And, you know, if there were a candidate that happened to fit the bill, that was a black woman that was popular in that area, then by all means get her. But there's not right. one in that area that fits right now. The right. only black woman that he should even think think about, the only, black woman, Obama. the only black woman that should keep him up at night is Michelle Obama. That's if, it. Michelle, if Michelle Obama ain't coming back, then he's got to move on for this segment. Sorry. That's it. I mean, let's look at the black women. They were talking about, they were talking about that they're so influential within the Democratic Party. Well, guess what? There was a black woman running in this last in this last uh, primary race, and y'all didn't vote for her. She dropped that. You she couldn't even get enough support from you guys that she didn't even make it to the first primary. She had to drop out because she didn't have enough support. You didn't donate money to her and you didn't support her enough in the polls so that she ended up having to drop out. If there was if black women supported black women so much, if you were so concerned, you would have supported Kamala Harris so that she could have stayed in that race. And maybe she would have been part of the conversation if she had lasted to the point where she had a, a healthy percentage of the vote then maybe Joe Biden would have had to tell her, look, if you need, um, it's going to be a tough race. I don't think you have a chance to win, but I understand that you do have a lot of people. So bring them over into our can to your camp and I'll put you as VP. That could have been an argument, but she never made it that far. Why? Because the black for women out there saying that they support that they that they're so influential. They didn't support her. So, you know, maybe they didn't want her. I don't know, but you can't you can't have it both ways. You can't sit up there and scream, "We're so influential, we're so influential," and then you don't even support your own. Just you can't do it. It's, yeah. it's now, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the day, we want you to get our message here is this: No matter he, Biden could put who framed Roger Rabbit as his vice presidential candidate, you still need to vote for him. And but, the reason you need to vote for him, go, I'm sorry, Lamont. And go the ahead. reason you have got to vote for him is because no matter what you think of Biden, he is not going to be more dangerous than the things that we have seen from Trump. The, 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 the judiciary is the most important prize in this election. I don't know how much longer RBG, who has been fighting for women's rights, 
and is still fighting for women's rights right now, even though she wants to give it up. She's still fighting. You guys have got to show up for that woman. If there's any woman you got to show up for, it's RBG and all the other court positions that Trump is filling up with these wackos who are 32 years old and could sit in these courts from now until 40 years. That right. is the number one issue for why you have got to turn out and get this president out of office. And, right. and, and you know what happens is, is when they create, when they do videos like this and they make it, they, they really create this climate of, you know, if you don't vote for our, for who we want, then we're going to hold, we're going to withhold support from you. We're not going to vote. When you, when you set that sort of mindset up and that climate up, what happens is, is black folks really do decide, well, if we don't get a black candidate, I'm just staying home. Right. And then, like you said, you end up with another Trump. We're already as a democratic party, they're already fighting to hold together this coalition. You have all the Bernie bros and all the Bernie supporters that, that Bernie's Whoa. fighting to wrangle up and say, look, I get you support me. I get that you're that you're progressive and you're idealistic, but we need to come together at this moment so that we can get this person out of office. And and you know, so if you're holding together this coalition of, of, of the Bernie Bros and all these supporters, all the progressives, and then you're trying to hold together this coalition of black women and black folks in general, I mean, come on, folks. The, the other side is not going to have to do anything except sit all, sit back and watch us implode if we don't if we don't come together and just decide. Yes, Biden may not be the be the best candidate in the world, but he's what we have right now, and he is a hundred times better than what we currently have in the White House. So, I mean, you just have to suck it up and deal with it. I don't like eating my vegetables every day, but I know it keeps me regular and keeps me healthy, so I do it. You know. Right. 